andariki namaskaram i extend my warm greetings to all the people of telangana state on the occasion of 72nd republic day celebrations it is a proud moment for all of us that the telangana state by implementing a plethora of innovative unique and people oriented schemes and programs within a short span of time has carved a niche for itself in the history of the country since the responsibility of the governing the state is entrusted to a leader that is honorable chief minister who happened to be happened to lead the movement for the separate state food for telangana it stood first and unique in the country in several sectors due to the planned and systemic efforts during the past 6 and a half years and has been providing inspiration to other states to emulate telangana covid vaccination the entire year 2020 went through the difficulties due to the covid 19 pandemic we started the year 2021 with lot of optimism as the vaccination for covid 19 on priority has been started and is being administered on priority basis honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji's visit to bharat biotech international limited in hyderabad to review the development of the indigenous covid 19 vaccine co vaccine gave great impetus to quicken the process with the combined and well coordinated efforts of the government of india and the state government the spread of the virus was effectively contained by strict implementation of the lockdown and by offering the best medical treatment to the affected the mortality rate in the state has been brought down to the lowest possible a record number of above 76 lakh tests were conducted across the state by setting up the center even at the mandal level in the state 2 lakh tests were conducted for every 10 lakh population as against national average of 1.39 lakh tests case fatality rate in the state is 0.54 percentage as against national rate of 1.4 percentage the recovery rate in the state is 98.24 percent as against national rate of 96.8 percent thus the state has been performing well in containing ill effects of covid-19 from the bottom of my heart i salute all the frontline warriors like medical and health department staff police personnel sanitary workers journalist and other employees and volunteers who stood in the forefront in fight against covid pandemic the state government distributed 12 kg of rice and extended a financial help of 1500 per month to each poor family who lost their livelihood during the lockdown free meals were served through annapurna canteens special trains were arranged for the migrant workers to travel to their native places the state government has incurred a huge revenue loss of 52000 crore due to the distribution of activity activities caused by the pandemic despite the steep fall in the revenue the state government continued all its welfare and social security schemes for the benefit of the poor palle pragadi translating separate statehood movements movement leaders vision into reality the living standards of the people in telangana state have tremendously improved due to the creation of basic infrastructure facilities in the villages in all villages the palle pragadi program transform the villages in the state uh, as role models in the country now 12765 gram panchayats have been provided tractors with tankers and trolleys as against 84 gram panchayats that had their own tractors at the time of formation of the state now 
the villages in the state were a festive look with clean and green surroundings as a part of greenery initiatives a record 91% of the saplings planted have survived in the rural areas each village in the state has one plant nursery the state will have 19470 village prakruti vanalu and is identified at 19027 places and saplings were planted at 15646 places people voluntarily cleared all the unwanted vegetation closed the unused open wells bore wells and sewerage ponds through Sh shramadan in palle pragadi in palle pragadi construction of dump yards is going on at 12736 places and 91% of works work are completed at 9023 dumping yards compost facilities are being created in order to avoid difficulty of performing the last rites of loved ones the state government decided to construct one vaikuntha dhamam at every village the state government took special interest for constructing one raitu vedika at every cluster of every cluster to facilitate the farmers to sit and deliberate farm related issues the construction of 2580 right to vedikas out of the targeted 2601 has been completed the state government has also decided to create drying platforms at 93875 places in the state in the first phase which will help the farmers to dry and thresh their produce earlier gram panchayats were unable to pay their electricity bills on time resulting in stoppage of power supply to the villages with the initiatives taken up by the state government now gram panchayats are able to pay their electricity bills in time the state government is releasing 308 crore every month to the gram panchayats despite financial crunch due to covid pandemic